guys what's going on so I wasn't planning on making a video today but I have an angle cooler full of fish here and Victor and I have been trying to catch Oahu in our home waters for quite some time now and check this out not only do we have one but we have two as well as some blackfin tunas and a dolphin and we caught some bonitas and we did it with our friend Elliot and his dad Rob. Huge thank you to them for taking Victor and I out today. We have yet to catch a wahoo out here and we finally got it done today. So big thank you to them. Now let's get to fishing. Wahoo on! Smoke it. What do you say? Woohoo! Yesterday, Victor and I fished from like 7 a.m. to like 1 o'clock. We only caught a bonita, a cuda, and a dolphin. And we were trying for wahoo all day. And today, we've been fishing for just a couple hours. Victor caught one wahoo. Now we got a big fish on. Smoke the reel. Oh, he's just way back there. Just Is that come him? Yup. That's way back there. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I saw it again. Oh, yeah. yeah. Holy moly, that thing's way back there. You guys can kind of see it breaking, like, about there. It's up on top of the water. Yep. Damn, he did pull a lot of line, didn't he? Yeah, he did. That's a big one right there. That's a stun. Is that what Elliot's gonna do is take the uh, planer off of the bridle. And now you can reel your fish all the way up to the rod tip rather than trying to hand line 150 feet of leader in. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. Oh, my God. Holy smokes. Sick half shot, bro. I've never felt so much pressure to actually get a fish to the boat as I did just then. Now I might be bigger than the one in the keys. Like, so much pressure. It's a stud. Absolute stud. And the fact that he was just driving around with the surface the whole time, I was just like, please don't get a shark. Please don't get a shark. <laughs> He's heavy, is what he is. He's heavy. <laughs> Elliot is literally the Wahoo Whisperer, and there's the proof. Another blackfish. Yeah, everything's coming in pairs. Two Wahoo, two tunas. Nice. Are you on there? Yeah. You are? Oh, a third tuna. Look at that. Don't even have time to put the wahoo in the cooler and two more tunas. Little update for you guys. We got Brooke hooked up. This is on a daisy chain, so that's those squids in a line. No gaff needed. So this is the daisy chain. Bunch of little squid skirts, and then a bigger one right there. So it's kind of cool. It looks like 
school of bait fish skipping on top of the water. And then you have the trailer. One. All right. Hello. Little black fin in the boat. Adding some tuna sushi. Hey guys, welcome back to the fillet table. Now it is time to fillet up this wahoo. Victor just filleted up the big one that I caught and I'm filleting up the smaller one that <laughs> he caught. <laughs> and I wanna give a huge shout out again to Elliot and his dad for taking us fishing. And we caught almost every single fish today on those bait strips, except for a couple we caught on daisy chains. Well, a couple of the tunas at least we caught on the daisy chains, but all the wahoos, the dolphin was caught on the bait strips. And if you guys are interested in those, I will have a link in the description where you can find them. It is Elliot's design. He came up with that idea and they obviously work because we caught a cooler full of fish today. So let's get to flying this guy. I've never flayed a wahoo before. Let me just come right out and say that. Not making excuses for myself. Obviously, I haven't even started yet, but I'm just letting you know I've never flayed a Wahoo before. So, as with anything, start with a cut behind the peck fin and go up to the head. That is always a good place to start. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take my knife and I have the tip of my knife on the spine and I'm just going to follow that down the fish. All the way down with just the tip of my knife following the bones all the way to the tail. Make a, make a cut right here by the tail so now that that first cut's done, I'm now going to lift up with one hand and get in there with my knife. Again, going down the bones, all the way to the backbone now. Now I'm gonna spin them around and I'm going to now do basically the exact same thing on the stomach side. Aren't they such a pretty fish? Yeah, they are really pretty. Even after they're dead, they just, I mean, those zebra stripes, and there's like nothing else like it in the ocean. Okay, now that we did that, same thing, lifting up. Coming in with my knife. Now, what I'm doing here is meeting back up to the backbone from this side. So now I flipped them back around, back to the front side, making sure that both of my cuts connect and it should just come off now <laughs> if I got the whole thing. Okay, now it should come off. <laughs> Had to do a little more cutting, but Bam! there we go. How about that for my first Wahoo? I am very pleased with myself, <laughs> I must say. Did a great job. That meat looks so nice. Nothing fun in inside his stomach, but there's my finished product. There's my second um, side. This is where the gaff was. We can just chop that out. But the meat looks amazing. And I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> first Wahoo in the books, and I think I did pretty good. All right, guys, I'm gonna be honest. Victor flayed the first Wahoo first with his exact knife. And I was like, I'm gonna use that knife. <laughs> we have a bunch of Dexter knives, but I saw him use this one first and I absolutely loved it. I thought that was great. It turned out really well and I loved this knife. This is the Dexter six inch curved boning knife. 
did a great job as you saw if you guys are interested in any of the Dexter knives I actually have my own coupon code for you guys to save 10% 20 to save 20% with code Brook 20 I will have a link in the description but it's DexterOutdoors.com okay I don't think I've said this in quite some time but always make sure to pop the eyes of your fish after you fillet them they'll float if you don't and we always pop the stomach as you guys always see us check the stomach make sure you do that too because gases build up in them and once the fish eat off whatever you left on the bones which hopefully is not a lot <laughs> but once the fish start eating it down and it just becomes bones it gets lighter and those gases will build up and the fillet will the carcass will float to the surface and it'll smell for days and everyone in the neighborhood will hate you okay going for his last swim we are losing some sunlight here but now it is time to skin now with a fish like this that has very, very thin skin, they're hard to skin if you were trying to just attempt to go across the entire thing in one go. So it's easier if you split it into sections. And I am honestly gauging these sections off of the plastic bags that we're putting them into. So just cutting it like that. And then we'll cut this side in half here. Put this guy over here. This guy over here. Now, fillet right at the edge of the table. Start at the tail side. At least for this piece, the tail side. And there is your beautiful piece of wahoo. Wahoo is something that's absolutely delicious in a sushi or sashimi, which is probably what I'm gonna end up doing with this. I'm gonna finish skinning up the rest of it and then also clean the tunas, and then I will meet you guys in the kitchen. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So tonight is my brother's birthday and it is also Super Bowl Sunday. So we have a big dinner planned tonight at my parents' house and I'm gonna whip up a little Wahoo appetizer. I'm going to be making a coconut crusted Wahoo bite. I've never done coconut crusted anything before, so I'm hoping that they're gonna be good. So let's get started here. Now I already have my Wahoo chopped up into nice little bite-sized pieces. I have some flour here, some egg, and then some coconut, some shredded, just baker's coconut flakes. I'm going to take my Wahoo, and I'm going to first put it in flour, get it nice covered in the flour. Then I'm going to go into the egg. And then we're going into the coconut. Just like that. The coconut is a little awkward to stick, so you want to make sure you definitely get a good egg wash on there. Alright, so I have all of my Wahoo crusted with the coconut. I have a pan here with some hot oil, and we're ready to start frying them up. Watch your fingers. Okay, so my oil was very hot for that first round and they cooked really fast and they got a little too crispy. <laughs> and by crispy, I mean burnt. So now my oil is not as hot. So hopefully this batch goes better. At least you're honest and real with your viewers. A lot of people would hide it. So what cooking's about is learning, right? It smells good. <laughs> So not too bad. One side is nice and brown, but the other side is a little burnt. So 
So now I'm going to serve it with a bang bang sauce, which I've made this a bunch of times for a bunch of different recipes. All it is is mayonnaise, sriracha, depending on how hot you like things, and then sweet red chili sauce. want it to be a nice orange. I'm going to add some more chili sauce to it as well as a bit more sriracha. For dessert. I don't know if you need to dip. Mm. Pretty wild. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful meat. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to start catching wahoos. <laughs> You're telling me. You like it? Yeah, it's good. So the plain. Mm. Good, huh? Mm -hmm. Waho is such a good, nice meat. Mm -hmm. Really good. What do you think, mm. Mama? Delicious. Mm. It really is really good. And super easy to make. Not, probably not a better fish. Probably the, one of the better fish to make it with because it's really firm. Maintains its integrity. The It just is really good. That's all I can say. That's a super, Super Bowl Sunday treat. <laughs> that is about the best fish I've ever had, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Thank I guess you. it's because of how it's cooked. I don't know, but it is delicious. Thank you. They've been, they've been wait, they've been. Your fans have been waiting for you, Ma. They've been commenting down below. They've been waiting to see you again. Yeah, they want you in more videos. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, it smells good. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Yay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's again. Look! Wow! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Fisher. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs>